brand name before, yeah. W1 FRD, I heard you guys yakking, uh, and I thought I'd jump in. W1 FRD. FRD, it's Fred here. I uh, accidentally hit my uh, uh, something on my radio in the car that put me on 144, and I heard uh, you know sideband, so I got home and put my sideband radio on. I'm over here in Fairfield. Uh, you're pretty strong, uh, last station. station uh that was just on uh yeah 20 over s9 into me i got the uh m squared uh, loops uh stack loops and uh, they're about 35 feet on a pool and i'm at 62 feet on the side of a uh, cement hill the flank of cement hill Five seven into me, five seven. Squared loops, uh, uh, stack loops. All right. So cool. how many uh, how many you got stacked? Is it just two or more than that? No, just two. And then it's I have the nine nine one a doing fifty watts. Okay, very good. Yeah, you're uh, you're well up into the red here on my side. I, I would guess about thirty over, but I can't tell for sure because the meter's too small. Yeah, I got you about thirty over uh, over here. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I've got the 13B2 at 60 feet, and it's currently pointed at Rio Linda. Yeah, you're doing real well getting into Rio Linda there, a little bit good signal there. Uh, Red, that's, that's a good job. Yeah, so it's good to hear people, other people on sideband. I, I usually do a, a Sunday... Uh, evening uh 6 30 uh sideband but i haven't been doing it lately and uh, a bunch of guys here in the uh, area get on but no one joined me the last couple of, uh sundays well, what, uh, what frequency do you guys get on on 144 uh 200 oh okay the call frequency okay yeah any activity it should be there
Fred here. Yeah, it's the uh, Yesu 991A. Okay, thanks for that. 991 Alpha, that's what, about 50 watts, Chris? Yep, 50 watts. I bought this radio so I could do sideband on 2 meters. I've done it on 70 centimeters with a guy over in Martinez. Okay, well, we've got 432 capability around here as well, but no, for just for, man, you said your engines are what, only 20, about 28 foot above ground? Yeah, you said about 30 feet, uh, yeah, that's so correct. Yeah, well, I would say you're doing pretty good. You've done this by the six all the way over here and really under, so that's not too shabby. Yeah, I'm on the uh, flank of uh, Cement Hill, which is out uh, almost to Travis, and uh, uh, my elevation is 62 feet, and then I have a 20-foot uh, pole and then an extension on that that get about up about 30 feet. Okay, and are you planning on uh, putting some uh, bigger type of uh, beams up uh, eventually? Now, I like the way these loops work. Uh, yeah, I uh, got a, uh, a four-element uh, two-meter beam, and then I bought a uh, 70... Uh, centimeter beam and I'm going to stick them on a on a horizontal and get a TV mask for satellite work. Yeah, okay, well, you're really trying to plan on the, getting a little bit further down and so on and so forth. You're going to have to actually put some kind of a, a beam up with some uh, a decent gain on the thing and it's going to make all the difference in the world for you. Yeah, I'm in an HOA, and they I don't think they're going to like a big old antenna. I get away with the loops. They do don't—they barely see them. Oh, now that explains a whole lot, yeah. Yeah, when you're in one of those, they are heaven forbid. You know, if you get a real end like that with that signal, uh, Fred, I think you're getting pretty good with those loops. So, uh, did you hear net control down there, uh, K6MYC down there in but yeah, I get Micah when I, you know, when I'm out here later in the, or I don't know, that would be earlier, but I, uh, yeah, I, I get Mike when he's pointed out there towards Sacramento, and he says, oh, he'll get over to me, so he turns his antenna towards, uh, like, Sonoma, and I don't get him, or he doesn't get me from there, so I don't know. Yeah, sometimes it's a crap shoot, all right. Lots and lots and lots and lots of 